Are you tired of the boring look of city skyline? Don't you love your city but wish that it could look a bit better? Well, look no further, my fellow aesthetic enthusiasts, as this video will moreover go over things you can do to improve the look of your game. Things to note are that if you are running the game on a potato, you probably want to stick with minimum graphics. Also, you need access to the Steam Workshop in order to get the required mods to enhance visuals, so I apologize for all the pirates out there. Anyway, let's get into it. The first step in enhancing your visuals will not improve the game graphically, but aesthetically. Installing custom buildings can make your city from looking like this, to this. In order to install custom buildings, simply go to the workshop and under assets, pick which category of buildings you would want to get and simply subscribe to the ones you like. It's that easy. Make sure that somewhere in the description of the building it says growable, as it will make it so that the building will naturally spawn. In addition, you would want to pick up the road color changer mod. By default, installing the mod alone will change your roads from the ugly light gray to a sexy dark asphalt color. It doesn't cause any lag and you can change the road to any color you'd like, so I highly recommend getting this mod. The next step deals with color correction. By default, there should be three color correction presets, but these aren't any good at all. In the workshop under miscellaneous, you'll find more presets for color correction. Some of my favorites are Evergreen and Mirror's Edge, though the Mirror's Edge one isn't really practical, it just looks cool. The next step will involve a good set of mods to install that will graphically enhance your game. Keep in mind that you need a solid computer in order to pull this off, or else you will lag a lot. The first mod is called Dynamic Resolution, and this essentially upscales the resolution, removing jagged edges. In order to use this mod, go into game and press F10. There, increase the slider to above 100% until you think the game looks good. Here are before and after shots. The next mod is called Post Processing FX, and this essentially adds different effects that you could play around with, including bloom, lens flare, and motion blur. There is also an option to add anti-aliasing to your game, but you really shouldn't have to use this unless you're not using the dynamic resolution mod. To use this, simply press F9 to bring up the menu and play around with the sliders to fit your needs best. The next mod I'll put into one because it pertains to lighting and the sun. Sun Shafts and Moving Sun are two mods that will add immersion to the look of your city pertaining to light. Sun Shafts add rays of light near buildings, making it look more realistic. Moving Sun adds a cycle in which the sun moves around the sky. To activate Moving Sun, press P in your game and change the sliders accordingly. Setting speed closer to zero will slow down the day. In addition, you could download the Night Day plus Cycle mod, which is an extension to the Moving Suns mod. However, I will not show you that mod because of how, how buggy and laggy it is, so until a more stable version comes out, I'll leave it as is. Anyway, if you feel like I left out a mod, please feel free to comment it in the description below. Like and subscribe for more content, and I will see you all later. Thanks for watching.